Welcome back, guys. I'm back with another video. So let's tap in, guys. Let's tap right in. Let's get a message um, for my newbies. Welcome, guys. Be sure to like the video as well as comment below. Let me know that you're new here as well as subscribe. If you're returning, welcome back, guys. Thank y'all so much for the love and support. I hope that's returned to you times 10. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get a message. I'm, 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 I'm hearing, this is a channel message, guys, because I'm hearing it's better to be alone than to be in bad company. Somebody may have some bad company around them. Yeah, somebody got some bad company. Okay, somebody got some bad company around them. And I feel like when you're not around this person, I feel like this person is fake. I feel like this, the person that is around you and your energy, they're fake. Okay, they're very fake. When they're not around you, they're like this happy-go-lucky, optimistic person. But when they come around you, they put on a mask. When they come around you, when they're around you, they're they're wearing a mask. It's like this person is giving like optimistic everywhere else, but around you, they got so many problems, or they got this going on, or this is their issue, this is their problem, this is what they got going on. It's so bad, it's so miserable. But when they're around other people, they put on this smile. You should free yourself from this from this energy, from this toxic cycle. I feel like you could this could be someone that you're very very interested in. Like you see yourself long term with this person, but I I feel like I feel like this person they're not they don't bring you the right energy. They don't bring you the right energy. It's something about when this person isn't around you. It's like the chemistry is off. You guys are very connected sexually, very much so. In the bedroom, very much so. Like the passion and the chemistry is there in the bedroom. But other than that, it's unrequited. It's, it's not where it should be um, outside of the bedroom. In the bedroom, the chemistry is there. In the bedroom, the chemistry said, but this person, for some reason, feels like they got to pretend or be fake around you. You deserve better. This person knows that you deserve better than that. Why they're choosing not to give it to you, I don't know. You may need to distance yourself from this person. You may need to distance yourself from this person. Because this person, they just give fake. Like, they give fake-ass energy. Like, they just give fake energy. I'm just going to be real. They just give fake. And like I said, when they're not around you, they they are a completely different person. Like, they're, like, happy-go-lucky, smiling, cheesing, want to be in everybody's face, always got something positive to say. But when they come around you, they give you this, Debbie Downer as energy. Who knows which one is the real them? This person could have a, a disorder, a, a mental disorder of some sort. They could be bipolar. They could have multiple personalities. But this person is just giving, like they give you, they give you the back end. They give everything up front, everything else, the world, everything else, happy go lucky rainbows and and all that, and then give you the tail end of of everything 
they're very bad company. They're bad company. Um, I feel like that. I feel like that. This person cares about you, and like I said, the chemistry is is. There's a lot of chemistry there, especially in the bedroom. Like the intimacy is on ten. The intimacy is on ten. But there, this person has some things that they need to heal about themselves. Maybe this person does don't like themselves, don't like who they are. Maybe they're trying to be accepted, but they don't feel. Maybe you already accept them for who they truly are, but they they want to be accepted by the world. But I just feel like this person is just like they're very twisted. Okay, they they're very twisted. Yeah, you really got to get get to know this person because you're gonna find out some things about this person. You're gonna find out some things about how they think. The more you express yourself to this person, look, we got love yourself first. This person, the more you get to know this person, and the more love you show them, the more they act like this. This is the type of person that you have to pull away from and act like you don't care. And who wants to live like that? Who wants to be in that energy 24-7? You want to be in a very a very comfortable energy when you're around someone um, who you're planning on spending your life with. You want to be comfortable. These are red flags. Okay, like I said, the passion, the intimacy part is on 10 but the key to the key to this person is you have to put yourself first. If you put yourself second, if you put them before you put before you, they're going to continue to treat you like this. They're going to continue to treat you like that. You have to show this person that you love yourself more than you love them this person is very twisted you have to have to get to know this person a, a little deeper um this person is not a normal i love you i love you too like this person studies and um they study you they they feel like they know you more than you know yourself and they know what buttons to press and what this very manipulative person that you're dealing with they're very manipulative and tricky. Be careful. This person could be involved with spell work as well, too. Ace of Pentacles and the Chariot. Knight of Wands. You could be dealing with a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn, a Cancer, or a Leo Sagittarius Aries. It can be any sign, but this is what is what is being revealed. I feel like this person is an opportunist. <laughs> They're going to move forward with whatever opportunity, whatever is presented to them. And they're very inconsistent. This person is inconsistent. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? They are, um, they're putting uh, their work first. They're putting their money first. This person don't care about how you feel right now. I'm telling you, this this person, they are nuts. Okay, this person is nuts. I'm just keeping it real. They don't, they aren't genuine. They aren't genuine. They aren't like, okay, you know, I love, I love your smile. I love being around you. I love your energy. You bring great, great energy. This person is like, no, you love me. Oh, you love me? You sure? Okay, let's see how much. What button can I press? Let's see how just how much you love me. I'm going to try this. I'm going to do this. What are you going to do about it? 
I don't know what this person is used to or but this person is twisted okay this this person is very twisted you have to keep yourself first when dealing with this person if you want to continue to deal with this person you're going to have to make sure that you're always top priority what you have going on is always first you come first because the minute you show them that you care about them like if you you're hurting but you won't do anything about it you're continuing to let them do what they want to do they will run with that and they're going to keep doing it over and over and over again my secretary here This person is, things are are eventually going to slow down for this person. Why does the matter want it? And this person is very inconsistent and they're unreliable. Yep, the emperor. This person, they have control issues. This person could be a little older than you. Um, they have to be in control. Yeah, they have to be in control. They want to control your mind. They want to um, control. They This person just wants to have control over you. This person wants control. They want control. All right, so that's what I got, guys. Remember, um, sometimes it is better to be by yourself, do what you need to do for you, rather than being in bad company, y'all, because this is giving bad company. It really is. It's giving somebody who's just very heartless. So that's what I got here, y'all. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I'm going to chat with y'all later. Thank you.